Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bobby Kryptonite here and welcome to another Bobby K Bikes video. Today, I've got a new project bike to show you. I got a Molten. Now, a Molten has been on my wish list since about 2007 and I could never get one because they were always in London with pickup only on eBay. But, I started searching for one recently. I put in a bid on one a few weeks ago and I nearly won the auction. I was highest bidder for the final 30 seconds then with one second remaining, someone outbid me by two pounds. So I went onto Facebook to the Molten Owners Club page and said that I was looking for one and did anyone have one for sale? And I was very lucky. Someone very kindly said that they had one in their shed and I could have it for free. So I went and collected it. It's a 1964 Molten Deluxe. I used it for a few days and then I got a flat tire so um, I changed the tire and I've cleaned it up a little bit. So here's some footage showing the bike and showing the new tire going on. So here she is, 1964 Molten Deluxe, four speed Sturmy Archer gears. How much did I pay? One bottle of Secretary Bird red wine. I've wanted one of these for years. I'm so glad I've finally got my hands on one, but today, I'm afraid she let me down. Got a, got a flat tire on the way to church and I had to push her home. But um, you can see here, that's, that's I actually thought this was a white wall. Turns out it's just where the side wall was worn down by the dynamo. So that's what dynamos do to your side walls. If we go around the other side, side wall's fine. So that's interesting. Um, she's a little ratty, needs a bit of a clean and I might end up repainting that rack, straightening a few things out, a bit of coke and tin foil on the, the chrome. But apart from that, she's a sweet bike. Suspension front and rear. This was revolutionary engineering back in the 60s. And like I said, deluxe models got four speed Sturmy Archer. Standards were three speed. Well, that's the old tire off. Now to inspect this tube and find the puncture. But, would you look at that? She's a real beauty under the grime. Bit of a... Bit of a clean up and she'll be even nicer. I also found the hole. You couldn't miss it. So there we are. One lovely new tire and a little bit cleaner. Here's hoping that that holds up and of course, we'll be keeping the dynamo off except at night. Um, the front light certainly works on this. I don't know about the rear, but uh, yeah, she's a diamond in the rough, but a nice little bike. Uh, this is just how bad the wear on the other tire was. I'm not sure if you can see, but can definitely, yeah, I can see my fingers through the gap in the tread there. So, next time. We'll put the front new tyre on so that we've got both tyres the same colour. We'll set to with Diet Cola and tin foil, muck off, get her cleaned up, spruced up. Yeah.